get started. So welcome everyone to this Friday evening slow flow class. We've got about 60 minutes together here to relax and restore the body, to say goodbye to the week that just passed and welcome in the weekend. So we'll get started here on our backs. Oh, I should mention, I did um, make a playlist and if you prefer um, doing your yoga to music, it's in the chat, the link to the Spotify playlist is in the chat box. You can press that now. And let's find a comfortable position here on our backs. So just slowly coming down to rest on our backs. Starting to draw our focus inward. Throughout practice, we can use our breath as a tool to stay focused on the present moment. So we want to maintain full deep inhales and slow, full exhales throughout practice. If at any time you find your breath is getting shallow or you're having trouble maintaining a rhythmic breath, that's your body telling you to back out of the posture, take a pause and maybe find child's pose returning to the breath. We are here to feel good, so that is our intention. And with that in mind, let's take a deep inhale together, slowly through the nose. The eyes can close. Exhale out the mouth. Another like that, slowly inhaling. Feel the chest in the rib cage expand. And draw the breath down to the belly, feel the belly expand. As you exhale, let the belly drop first, and then feel the rib cage fall. You can put one hand on your belly and one on your chest, and take another deep breath like that. And then find a comfortable rhythmic breath for yourself. Deep, slow inhales through the nose and exhale out the mouth, out the nose, sorry. Inhaling, and exhaling. Release the hands to a comfortable position. Just let the back feel heavy against the mat. Starting to loosen up and relax. Let's bring fingers to the back of our skull, press the occipital ridge, which is the base of the skull, where the skull meets the neck. You can massage that area gently, maybe you lift your head a little bit up off the mat and rock it side to side. This just brings some length into the cervical spine. Gently release your skull down to the mat. Take your fingers and just massage along the jawline. You can hold lots of tension there along the jaw. So just give yourself a gentle massage. And you can release the hand. Let's scrunch the face up tight, puckering the lips, making a funny face, and then just relax. Feel some softness coming into the cheeks, heaviness coming to the eyelids. Hands relax at our side. So we'll inhale here. Exhale, slowly roll the head to the right side. Inhale, coming back to center. Slowly roll the head to the left. Inhale, back to center. Head drops to the right. Let's pause here. Just let the head be heavy and let gravity start to stretch that left shoulder a little bit. Notice what's here for you on this side of the body. Without judgment or analysis, just observe how the body feels. Inhale back to center. Exhale, drop head to the left. We'll let the head rest here for a round of breath. Bring your 
bringing awareness into the right side of the neck and shoulder. Seeing if you can bring softness with each exhale, releasing tension. Inhale the head to center, and then we'll extend the arms long, reaching out to the thighs. Inhale, the chest expands. Feel that opening across the clavicle, the sternum. Chest, chin lifts. Exhale, the chest drops. And let's cross arms right over left. And give yourself a hug here. Breathing here. Notice the back body expand on the inhale. See if you can stretch that space between the shoulder blades. Let that breath go. And then we'll inhale the arms wide. Oh, you yes, sneeze. <laughs> maybe not, maybe yes. <laughs> Exhale. <coughs> One more time. <coughs> Across the arms, left over right. Reaching for the shoulder blades, give yourself a hug. Hands connect to the back of the shoulder blades. And we breathe here into that back body, expanding and relax when it exhales. Let's drop the arms down to the side, palms come next to the hips, and we'll draw the knees into the chest. And then Bring the arms around the knees. We can give ourselves a little hug and rock side to side. Gentle massage of the spine. Return the feet to the mat here, hands next to hips. And then we'll lengthen the spine, gently tucking the chin and pressing the low back, the lumbar spine into the mat. You should feel your um, abs start to engage here. This is a neutral spinal alignment. We're going to try to maintain this by taking the curve out of the low back throughout practice as we lie, sit, and stand. From here, press into the hands and feet and gently tuck the tailbone, lift it up about an inch off the mat. Inhale it here. Exhale, release down. Let's do that again. Inhale, pressing the back into the mat. And as we exhale, roll the tailbone up about an inch, hovering, inhaling, and releasing. Excellent. We'll take a nice long body stretch, fingers to toes, reaching your arms behind you, toes to the front of the room, stretching, maybe rolling out ankles and wrists. And then let's draw the right knee into the chest. On the exhale, squeeze that knee towards you. Inhale, release a little bit. And we'll make some wide circles with the knee. This starts to open up the hip and lubricate the joint. If this feels intense on your low back, you can bend the left leg and plant that foot on the mat. Let's switch the direction of the circles. pausing here in the center, and then extend that foot to the thigh, reaching the ball of the foot up to the ceiling, holding here, pressing that low back into the mat, again, engaging the, <laughs> engaging the core. My nose is really tickling, so there might be more sleepy than sore breath. If you'd like to um, deepen this into a more of a Hand string stretch, you can start to draw that straightened leg toward the body. Breathing deeply, relaxing the shoulders into the mat. And then let's bend the right knee, plant the left foot on the mat, so your left leg is bent. Cross right ankle over left knee. This is figure four. You can stay here if you're feeling a stretch in the right hip. Or if you'd like to deepen it, draw the left knee toward the body. You can hold behind that knee or in front of that knee. 
this really starts to get a stretch into the outer side of the right hip. You can flex your right, right foot here and maybe rock side to side if that feels good. And then we'll release the left foot down, straighten the right leg, and release it down, lengthen the mat, draw the left knee in, and on an exhale, press knee toward the chest. Inhale, releasing, and then we'll make those circles with the left knee. About three in one direction, three in the other direction. Again, bending the right knee and planting that foot if this feels too intense. Pausing at the center, we'll extend the leg straight, reaching the ball of the foot toward the sky, pressing the low back into the mat, relaxing the shoulders and the jaw. Breathing slow, deep inhales, and full exhales. You can deepen this stretch by walking the hands toward the foot and drawing the left leg closer to the body. Again, breathing deeply, softening on the exhales. And then bend the left knee into the chest, plant the right foot on the mat, Cross left ankle over right knee. Stay here if this is giving you a stretch in your outer left hip. Otherwise, go a little deeper by drawing the right knee in, maybe reaching behind the knee or in front of that right knee, drawing this whole shape of the floor to the floor into the chest. You can rock side to side if that feels good. Then release that cross, drop both knees into the chest, and let's let the knees fall over to the left side. Here's a great place for props. So we want our back to be flat against the mat. This is a gentle spinal twist. If your low back or hips are tight, you can place your books or blocks between the legs. If you've got cushions, those work too. You can tee your arms, so extend your arms wide, making sure the shoulders are coming down onto the mat. If you need support under your left knee to get your shoulder down to the mat, that's fine, do that. You want to do what feels good here. You can drop your right head over to the right hand, and let's take three deep inhales. Softening on the exhale, noticing where there's tension and letting it go. Then we release the props, roll the knees up to center, draw them tight, let them go, and then roll them over to the right side. So you're coming onto your right hip. Again, trying to get the back flat against the mat. You can use your props here for support. Arms are outstretched, getting a nice opening across the heart, and the gaze can be high or it can fall over toward the left. Your eyes might close if that feels good. Three breaths. Drawing awareness through the body, noticing any areas of tension. Softening there on the exhales. And then we'll release any props to the side. Roll the um, knees back up. <clears throat> Let's draw the knees to the chest. If it's available to you, reach for the outer edges of your feet and press the feet up toward the sky. Drawing the knees to the outer edges of your hips to be happy baby pose. If this is too intense, you can simply bend your knees and hold them at the outer edges of your ribs. This is a hip release here and a 
hamstring stretch. Rock a little side to side. Smile like a happy baby. And then the knees come together. Let's expand the left arm behind the head and gently roll onto the left side. Pausing for a moment and then pressing ourselves up to fit, finding a comfortable position to sit. If it's comfortable to sit cross-legged, you can do that. If your hips are super tight, you might like to sit up on your books or blocks to get your hips slightly elevated above the knees. That might feel good. Let's lengthen the spine here, relax the eyes, you might close, drawing the crown of the head up skyward. Imagine pressing that low back into the mat. And from here, you can bring your hands to the heart space. If you'd like to set an intention for practice today, please do that now. You might share my intention, which is simply to stay present in the current moment by focusing on my breathing. With your intention in mind, let's drop the arms down, reaching them out to the side and up to the sky, inhaling deeply, hands touch and come down to the heart center there. Let's do that one more time, floating the arms out, up, this time pausing here, lengthening the spine, reaching up and relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. See if you can pivot the hands so the pinkies face inward. Gaze is high, breathing here. And then we'll drop the right arm down and reach over with the left for a side body stretch. Inhale, coming to center. Exhale, dropping left hand down, reaching over with the right. Inhale, center. Let's do that one more time. The right hand drops, reach over with the left. This time as you inhale, see if you can pivot your chest and go to the sky. And then reach the left arm back and make a wide circle with the arm, getting into that shoulder, finding a full range of motion there. Switch the direction of your circle. And then press yourself up, both arms rise. Lengthening on the inhale, left arm drops, reaching over with the right. Breathing here on an inhale, spinning the chest and knees to the sky, opening the right arm back and circling that arm. Couple times in each direction, sending fluid to the shoulder, girdle. And then inhale, rising up, hands meet, and we draw them to heart center. If you're on any props, remove them now. We'll sit onto our bum and extend the legs long down the mat, flexing the feet and pressing into the mat, hands by the hips. This is called staff pose. My core is engaged because I'm tucking a tailbone and drawing my abs in and up, gaze is forward, inhaling here, see if you can relax the shoulders and feel the chest open. On the next inhale, reach the arms out and up, lifting up away from the um, hips, and then hinge forward here. When you get to your edge and you'll know when that is, drop the hands down and breathe. Back is flat, spine is long. We take an inhale here. And as we exhale, release the back down, rounding the shoulders, letting the chin tuck. Breathing here. See if you can draw the breath into the back body, that space between the shoulders. Expanding on the inhale, and maybe folding deeper on the exhale. On an inhale, slowly roll yourself up and plant the hands behind the hips, fingers pointing forward. 
Let's roll the shoulders down the back. On an inhale, press into the hands, lift the heart to the sky, chin lifts, gaze lifts. Deep breath in, feel the expansion across the chest. Exhale, coming forward. Beautiful. From here, let's reach the arms up to the sky, bring the hands together and to heart. And with these prayer hands, we're gonna to twist to the right on the exhale. Notice if your feet come one in front of the other and draw them back to parallel with each other. Inhale, coming to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Again, you check your feet and make sure they're aligned to each other. That means that keeps your hips aligned. Inhale, back to center. Let's cross the legs and we'll roll over them coming up to tabletop. Tabletop here, you've got shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, and we're gonna take that arch out of the back. So draw the navel in and up. The core begins to engage, crown of the head shining forward, tailbone reaches toward the back of the room. Let's take a deep breath here. Looks great, Christine. On the next inhale, we'll take cat pose, pressing the back toward the sky, the chin tucks. And as we exhale, we arch the back, chin and tailbone tip to the sky. Inhale, cat, rounding the back, chin tucks. Exhale, cow, arching the back, heart toward the sky. Move through about three or four more, more of these cat cows at your own pace with your breath. When you've completed that series, return to tabletop. Extend the right foot back, lengthening through the calf, pressing toes into the mat, and then press into the heel for a calf stretch. On an inhale, lift that foot toward the sky. And again, make sure not to dump into the low back. We don't want to arch here. We want to draw the core in, take the arch out, crown of the head shining forward. You can stay here or go a little further for a balance. Reach the left arm forward. We'll be here for three deep breaths, stretching from heel to fingertip, lengthening the spine, gaze is down, spine is long, breath is flowing. When you're ready, plant the left hand, bend the right knee into the chest, and gently step it forward between your hands. You can pad your left knee here by rolling the mat over under the knee. And then find your props and place the, the hooks or blocks under your left hand. The right knee is stacked over the left ankle. We're going to reach the right arm forward and up to the sky. And as we do so, we spin the torso to the right. This is rotated side ankle pose. Hari Rita, Hari Jokanasana. Breathing here, gaze at the right hand, really getting into those hips, lengthening the spine, and see if you can relax the shoulders away from the ears. Reach the right hand back and down, and then we'll press into both feet and rise up. This is no lunge on the afternoon. Drop the hands to the hips. We're going to lift up out of the hips. Here. So we're not, again, protecting our low back, not dumping into the back, but lifting up out of the hips. The right quad is engaged, breathing, the arms float up if that's comfortable, shoulders away from the ears, breathing deeply. We'll release the hands down. And we're going to remove our prop. Toe heel this right foot in line with the left knee. And then pivot the left leg across the mat. And 
and spin yourself open, coming up to stand on the left knee. This is modified warrior two. Our shoulders are over our hips. Our right knee is aligned to, to the middle right toes. The gaze is over the right middle finger. Breath is flowing. Getting into those hips. Feeling the strength of this posture and the connection to the earth. On the next inhale, we lift and then pivot the, pivot the torso toward the um, front of the mat, dropping the arms down and deeply into that right foot, right leg. And then we're going to bring the right knee back to the left. Set the knees wide here. Toes you touch, and then the hips come back toward the heels, finding child's pose. Releasing the head to the mat, the space between the, uh, the forehead <laughs> touches the mat. This is the space of the third eye. If this is too intense of a stretch, you can put props between your heels and hips. We want to be relaxing here and softening. Arms reach forward. Connecting that third eye, the space of our intuition to the earth. Drawing our attention there. This is our resting pose and you can come to this pose anytime throughout the practice that you need a little break, or you need to return to your breath, return to your intention, tune in to your intuition, listen to what your body is telling you. From here, let's slowly press ourselves back to tabletop. Let's spin the, the hands so that the fingers face the knees for a little wrist stretch here. This is this might be super intense. If it is, you can uh, gently come out of it. If you want to go deeper, you sit your um, hips back toward the heels, deepening the stretch. And then the hands come back to face forward. We'll do one round of cat-cow. So press the back up to the sky, flat pose. Exhale, drawing the heart forward, arching the back, cow, and then finding neutral. Inhaling here, the left leg extends back, the toes tuck, press into the heel for a little quad stretch, stretching into the foot. And then float the left leg up, draw the core in, so we take the arch out of the spine. Nice. You can stay here or reach the right arm forward. Three breaths, lengthening the spine, gaze down, spine extends. You might roll out ankles and wrists if that feels good. And then we plant the right hand down, draw the left knee into the chest, gently step it forward. The knee comes, left knee comes over the ankle. Plant your block or, block, block or books under the right hand. And then we reach forward, up, and open with the left. Harivita Parjokanasana. You got it. These are the gorgeous. Gaze is high, breath is flowing. Feeling our strength and flexibility. Release the left hand back and down. Press into the feet and legs. Maybe you pad the knee if you haven't already. And rise up on Janayasana. Bringing hands to the hips to remind ourselves to tuck the tailbone and lift out of the hips. And then we can float the arms up if that feels good. Palms pivot inward, gaze is lifting. Breathing. Gently release the hands to the inside of the foot. 
toe, heel that left foot in line with the right knee, right leg pivot, and we open up modified warrior two. Shoulders over hips, knee aligns to the middle of the left foot, left knee to the middle of the left foot, arms float to shoulder height, gazing over the left fingers. Deep breath in and let that go. Two more slow, intentional breaths here. And then we pivot the torso toward the left leg, reach for the mat, stepping deeply into the left leg. Walk our foot back and over to the left. The left knee is going to come back to meet the right. And let's press ourselves forward. This is called modified plank. The spine is long, starting to build strength in the arms. We'll exhale and bend the arms deeply, slowly lowering down. Elbows should graze the ribs so the elbows are held tight, releasing all the way to the mat. The head touches the mat, extend the legs back, and breathe. Scoop the hands to the low ribs, and on an inhale, we're going to lift head, neck, and shoulders to the front of the room, pressing with the hands. This is no cobra. As we exhale, press down to the up, bend the knees, sit back, child's pose. That's our modified vinyasa. We can take that anytime I cue a vinyasa. We'll try it one more time. So let's press ourselves forward to modify it. Right? Shoulders over wrists, hips in front of knees, spine is long, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, elbows graze your ribs. Come all the way down, forehead touches. Inhale, head, neck, shoulders shine forward. Exhale, pressing into the hands, hips to the heels, child's pose. Breathing here. And softening. On an inhale, when you're ready, tuck your toes and press the hips up to the sky. And into the lower facing dog. Hands are shoulder distance apart. Middle fingers face the front of the room. Feet are hips distant. You should not be able to see your heels. So the heels are behind your toes, middle toes. It's fine to have your knee bent here. In fact, let's bend deeply into one knee and then the other. On an inhale, we flip both heels high. Exhale, bend the knees deeply. Inhale, pressing into the hands, lengthening the spine. Exhale, drop the heels down. One breath here. Feeling the length in the spine, feeling the connection to the earth. And then let's look forward and take small, slow steps to the top of the mat. Feet are hips distant. Bend the knees deeply, clasp the opposite elbows, ragdoll pose. Let the head be heavy here. You can rock it, yes and no. Loosening the jaw, letting gravity bring some space between the vertebrae. And then release the arms down. And as you inhale, bend into the knees, slowly roll yourself up, stacking one vertebrae over the next. The head is the last to rise. Coming to stand in our mountain pose at the top of the mat. As your feet are hips distance, you can bring a soft bend into the feet and then. Again, take the arch out of the back, so gently tucking the tailbone, relaxing the shoulders, and palms pivot forward, breathing. 
From here, let's float the arms out and up to the sky, reaching up tall, lifting and lengthening. As we exhale, drop the right arm down and reach over with the left side body stretch. Inhale, coming up to center, lift and lengthen. Exhale, left arm drops, right arm reaches, side body stretch. Inhale, coming up to center. Exhale, prayer hands. Inhale here. Exhale, take a twist to the right. Keep your hips pointing straight ahead. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Let's take another twist. This time, open the arms wide as you twist. Inhale, bring them to center and open them wide, twisting to the left. Inhale, back to center. Reach the arms up to the sky. As we exhale, bring the feet together and sit back into chair pose, Utkatasana. This is thunderbolt. Our, our spine will naturally arch, mine especially does so again. I'm taking the arch out of the spine, orienting my tailbone down. The weight of the posture is over the heels. I can see all 10 toes. I'm gonna lift the arms skyward, making that thunderbolt shape and relaxing the shoulder the way the fingers. Great, one more deep breath in. Exhale, palms to heart center and fold. On the inhale, we'll step back with the left foot. You can drop the knee down. Find the blocks if you used them before, or maybe this time you try them out. We're going to reach forward and up. Paribhita Parshokanathana. You can stay here or tuck the toes for a deeper version of the stretch. Three breaths. Hand reaches back and down, and then we'll press ourselves up to a high lunge. If this is too much, again, drop down to your knee for a low lunge. If you're with me in a high lunge, we're going to take, bend the back knee slightly just to take that arch out of the back, and then extend it again, floating it arms to the side, and breathing. Gorgeous. On the next exhale, gently release the hands down to the mat. Step back with the right foot to meet the left. You can take a vinyasa, a modified vinyasa, or meet us in down dog. Do what feels right. Listen to your body. So I'm going to inhale and modify plank. Exhale, coming all the way down to my belly. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, pressing to the child's pose. Inhale, tucking toes and pressing up to downward facing dog. One deep breath here. Feel the length in the spine. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings. On the next inhale, the right foot floats toward the sky. Stretch in the front of that right hip. This is a three-legged dog. Inhaling here, reaching the foot toward the sky. You can bend that knee and roll the hip open. Gaze under the right shoulder and breathe. Return to down dog. And then drawing the knee to the chest. Stepping it through between the hands. Pivot the left foot down so the heel hits the floor and the left heel aligns with your right. We're going to press into the leg and windmill ourselves open, coming up to warrior two. If this is too much, remember our modification. You can bring the left knee down as we started. Breathing here, two deep intentional breaths. 
quads are working, muscles are working, maybe you feel some heat rising in the body. Let's inhale the right arm to the sky, reverse warrior. Exhale, drop the forearm to the thigh and reach the left arm overhead toward the front of the room. This is, Ar this is Arjuna Panasana side angle pose. Lifting out of the hips, chest pivots to the sky, gaze is high, breathing. Excellent. Reach that left arm forward, pivot the chest down to the mat. We're going to bend deeply into the right foot and then pop ourselves forward, stepping the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift, shins, hands to shins, spine is long. Exhale, hold deeply. You can bend your knees here. You might toe heel the feet to hip distance if they aren't already. Slide the palms under your feet. Give your wrists a little release here. And breathe. Tailbone tips toward the sky. Head, neck, and shoulders. Relax. And then release the hands. Toe heel the feet back together. We're going to bend the knees and as we inhale, rise back to our chair pose. For one breath, lengthening here. Exhale, hands to heart center and fold. Step back with the right leg. The, the knee might drop down if you did it on the other side. You can use your props if you did on the other side or try for a deeper stretch by planting, tenting the right fingertips. Left arm stretches forward and up, rotated side angle. You can stay here or tuck the right toes, coming up and breathing. And we'll reach the left arm back and down, pressing to both feet to rise all the way up, high lunge. Hands to hips. Back by bend, tailbone tucks, and then we extend it again, finding length, and maybe floating the arms high. Breath is flowing, feeling our strength, feeling connection to the earth, and feeling lightness in the upper body. As we exhale, the hands reach down through the mat. And we're going to step the left foot back to the right. And we'll take a vinyasa. We'll meet in down dog. Again, listen to your body. I'm dropping my knees, modify the plank, bending the arms all the way down. Head, neck, and heart rise. Little cobra, pressing back to the toes, tucking the toes. Hips rise, down dog. Deep breath here, pressing into the mat, feeling connection at both points to the earth. On the next inhale, the left leg floats to the back for three legged dog. Reaching that foot upward, feeling a stretch on the front of the left hip, and then bending that knee, opening the hip to the left, and breathing. Coming back to three-legged dog, left foot rises, exhale, left knee into the chest, and slowly step it forward. We're here in runner's lunge, we pivot the right foot down so it's flat, outer edge of the foot is parallel to the back of the mat, heels align, pivot, sorry, windmill ourselves up, Warrior two. Again, you can drop to the right knee if that's what your body is asking for. Just do it. Shoulders are over hips, knee aligns with the toes, arms float to shoulder height, and the gaze is at the left fingers. We'll inhale here, right arm drops, left arm reaches up to the sky. 
Exhale, bending the arm, bending forearm on thigh, reaching the right arm up and over, Parjvakanasana side angle pose. Feeling a stretch from the outer edge of the right foot all the way to the right fingertips. Breathing deeply, feeling the muscles working, feeling our strength. We reach the right arm forward, torso pivots down, coming to runner's lunge, bending into both knees. Let's step that right foot up to the left. Exhale, fold. Let's toe feel the feet wide here, off the edges of the mat. And then we'll come to a flat back. You might use your props here. So you want shoulders over wrists. Spine is long. Inhaling here. Exhale, release down and fold. Soft bend in the knees so you're not locking the knees or you're extending. And you want the bum, make sure your, your butt isn't sticking too far back. You want the weight of the posture um, aligned to the heels. Full deep inhale, slow exhale, softening and deepening the fold. And then let's press ourselves back up to flat back. Toe heel the feet together, bring hands to hips, and then the knees rise all the way up to stand. Excellent. Removing any props, we'll do a little bit of balancing here now that we've loosened up the muscles, gotten in touch with our strength and our stability. So I'd like you to bring your feet together and bring a soft bend into the knee, tuck the tailbone for that neutral spinal alignment and find a drishti or focal point on the wall in front of you. We're gonna inhale, reaching the arms out and up Exhale, reaching over to the right side. This time, point the left toe and reach the left toes out to the side. See if you can move those toes off the ground. Side body stretch and balance. You got it. Excellent. Come back to center. Reach and lengthen. Eyes return to your focal point. Exhale. To the left, side body stretch, right toes point. See if you can lift them and balance. You've got it. Body is in one nice plane. Feeling a stretch on the outside of the whole right side of the body. Inhale back to center. Drop the arms down. Give yourself a wiggle. Wonderful. So from here, I'm just going to turn so you can see me. Again, find a focal point. This time, actually, we'll, we'll need two focal points. So we'll have one ahead of us and one on the wall somewhere to the right, something that's not moving. So we'll inhale, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, bringing the hands to heart center. Inhale, pressing into the left foot, right knee rises. And we'll breathe here, balancing for three deep, slow breaths. And let's clasp the knee with the left hand. We're gonna reach the right arm up and twist open to the right, changing our focal point to that spot we've picked on the right wall and see if we can hold for three breaths. Press down into the foot and lift up out of the hips. Breath is flowing. Return to center, drop the foot down, shake it out. All right, we'll take it to the other side. Again, one focal point ahead of you. This time, one focal point on a wall to the left. We'll inhale, floating the arms out and up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Inhale, left knee rises. And we hold here, pressing down through the right foot, lifting up out of the hips, finding balance, shoulders relaxed, breath is flowing. Then let's clasp the knee with the right hand. We'll reach the left arm ooh, forward, up, and twist open to the left, switching our focal point, our drishti, and breathing here, three intentional breaths. As we exhale, the arm releases, coming back to center. We drop the foot down and shake it all out. Excellent. Let's come to the top of the mat. We'll take a vinyasa and clear it all away. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, folding. Inhale, stepping back to plank or modified plank. Exhale, chaturanga or down to the belly. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, child's pose. Let's all meet here in the child's pose. Head comes to the mat. Returning to our breath. Returning to our intention. Slowly breath down. Feeling gratitude for all of that hard work we just accomplished on the mat. So slowly press ourselves up to sit. Lean over onto one side. We'll send the feet to the wide edges of the mat and slowly roll ourselves down the mat onto our backs, back to where we began. We'll take a gentle inversion here by, uh, sorry, gentle back bend by placing the props under the hips. So lift your hips and slide any books or blocks you might have under the hips. The feet are about hips distance. Relax the arms by your sides. Let the head, neck, and shoulders be heavy against the mat. Feel the gentle release of the hips. Breath is deep and fluid. Two more deep breaths here. Really letting the hips be heavy against your support. And then let's press into the feet, remove the props. We'll send the feet to the sky for an easy inversion. If you have a wall, you can do this pose up against the wall by bringing your butt to the wall and your heels to the wall. I'll just demonstrate so you sit yourself as close to the wall as you can get. Lay back onto your back. And then bring the turn of the body to your hips face the wall and walk the feet up the wall. You might stretch the arms out wide, breathing deeply, slowing everything down. Do 
you're welcome to stay here for Shavasana. If this feels good, it's a great pose to end with. Or if you'd like to follow me, I'll guide you into a traditional Shavasana pose. If you have books or blocks, I recommend placing them under the knees. The legs will extend toward the bottom edges of the mat. We'll gently roll ourselves up to our backs. So this support brings a little bend into the knees and takes a little bit of strain out of the low back in case we were feeling any sensitivity there. We'll close the eyes and let the hands roll open. Slowing down the breath. Letting the body relax. Letting the bones feel heavy. The muscles soften and release. Skull rests heavy against the heart. Heart is open. Shoulders are relaxed and supported. The back soft and relaxed. Hips are heavy. Knees release. Ankles relax. Arms, hands, and feet relax. Shavasana. Take one more deep, delicious breath here in Shavasana. Sigh it out. Yeah, feet on the mat, removing any props. Drawing the knees in toward the chest for a gentle squeeze. And then rolling onto your right side, pausing for a moment. Enjoying the sensation of rest. Gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Eyes can remain closed. We'll bring hands to heart center, bowing our heads. Sending gratitude to ourselves for giving ourselves the gift of yoga on this Friday evening, making time to relax and restore. Gratitude for the support systems that have allowed us to practice today. Gratitude for all the yogis who've come before us and brought us this discipline. And I'd like to thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.
Thank you all so much. I hope you're feeling relaxed. Oh, you're welcome, Katie. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You're welcome, Christine. Wonderful to see you all. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And